Nobody ever makes a comeback story happen without first enduring struggles of former years. Thankfully, nobody understood that better than the author of our very own FFA Creed, Mr. E. M. Tiffany. Up next, we're about to celebrate another group of loyal heroes. They are the ones who have continuously supported us through both our joys and discomforts as FFA members. Whenever we need to make a good comeback story happen, they are the first to rally behind us. Today, we get to honor them as we celebrate 50 years of alumni membership. To honor them, let's enjoy the reading of our very own FFA Creed, written by Mr. E.M. Tiffany and read by some of our very own past National FFA officers. I believe in the future of agriculture. With a faith born not of words, but of deeds, achievements won by the present and past generation of agriculturists in the promise of better days through better ways, even as the better things we now enjoy have come to us from the struggles of former years. I believe that to live and work on a good farm or to be engaged in other agricultural pursuits is pleasant as well as challenging. For I know the joys and discomforts of agricultural life and hold an inborn fondness for those associations which, even in hours of discouragement, I, I cannot, cannot deny. deny. I believe in leadership for myself and respect from others. I believe in my own ability to work efficiently and think clearly with such knowledge and skill as I can secure, and in the ability of progressive agriculturists to serve our own and the public interest in producing and marketing the product of our toil. I believe in less dependence on begging and more power in bargaining, in the life abundant and enough honest wealth to help make it so, for others as well as myself, in less need for charity and more of it when needed, in being happy myself and playing square with those whose happiness depends upon me. I believe that American agriculture can and will hold true to the best traditions of our national life and that I can exert an influence in my home and community, which will stand solid for my part in that inspiring task. Let's give up one more round of applause for our alumni and supporters as we celebrate 50 years of alumni membership. <laughs> 